What's going on, y'all? I'm just up here cooking on a normal day. So I got the ground beef cooking right here. Now, this ain't no, actually no cooking video or none of that good stuff. It's just basically me just sitting here being bored and this is what I'm doing, okay? So, um, I'm making spaghetti tonight. So I'm not gonna show everything because I already done did a video on spaghetti of how I actually cook them and all that good stuff. So I don't wanna bore y'all with anything else, okay? But, um, anyway, yeah, so that's what I'm doing tonight. Oh, y'all like, dang, girl, you cook a lot of ground beef, right? I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I cook, like, a lot of ground beef. Anything that got to do with ground beef, I'm all for it, okay? I'm all for enchiladas, spaghettis, burritos, tacos, tostadas, um, chili beans, um, lasagna, just about anything, okay? Anything that got to do with ground beef, I'm all for it, okay? I don't know. I got a problem, y'all. I really, really got a problem. I told y'all I got a problem with smell, so I'm just like OCD with smell. Yep. I already know that. And I got a problem with ground beef and Mexican food. Like, I love Mexican food, like, to the max. Oh, my God, y'all. Like, Mexican food is, I'm all for it, for real. Okay. Oh, yeah, meatloaf, too. I forgot about meatloaf. But, yeah, Mexican food is my thing, okay? Like, I don't know. I'm, like, hooked on it, like, for real. And I cook it so well, so that's probably why I'm hooked on it, but... Anyway, if any one of y'all want to actually want to come and get a little dib and dab and taste and all that good stuff, y'all are more than welcome, okay? So just come on by and we just go ahead and share our food, okay? Well, not my food, but, you know, the, the remainder of the food, okay? I don't share. Nope. So I just basically finished um, draining the meat and then I got the noodles on right now. Now, um... Y'all, do y'all know what is the most cheapest meals that y'all can actually make in your kitchen that don't cost nothing whatsoever, okay? I'm going to go ahead and run y'all a list, okay? Because like I say, your girl be getting down in the kitchen. So, I know how to save. I know how to shop on a budget. But is it me or do food basically just cost like a arm and a leg these days now. Yep. Like it do not cost like what it used to cost back in the day. Okay? Nope. It is so expensive. But everybody gotta eat, right? So but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all a rundown on some meals that actually is cheap that you can make in your kitchen without basically nothing. Okay. And then y'all just go ahead and leave your feedback. Just let me know if y'all think the meals is actually something that you will try or not or you know whatever you know what I'm saying like sometimes you cook stuff for your kids and stuff sometimes that you don't have the proper means and funds and all that stuff so you got to make something that's reasonable because you do have children so and I have a lot of nieces and nephews okay my sister have eight kids that I helped her um, bring up and I love them all truly the death okay and my brothers oh my god I don't lost count my oldest brother I think he got five or six one of the two my second oldest brother he got about maybe five or six too okay and my younger brother which is I call my little baby brother he has um two so and me i have zero yet okay but um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get y'all a rundown of which y'all can actually go ahead and whip together in your kitchen for cheap okay okay so i'm gonna i will do 10 things that y'all can make that's for cheap but i'm gonna start off with doing five because your girl might not be able to get 10 okay like for real for real but um anyway number one okay so what I like to make, which is cheap, is um, chicken, okay, fried chicken. Now, you can go to your store, your local grocery store, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Out here in Vegas, we got Winco, which is, y'all, they chicken be in there. It'd be like $3 for a whole pack, like a 12. Like, that's a discount. That's a deal, okay? Now, 
you you can go ahead and do a fried chicken you can do a baked chicken now me personally i do fried chicken and i do chicken and dumplings now chicken and dumplings is the most simplest easiest cheapest meal that you could possibly go okay and definitely if you got kids because kids love chicken and dumplings okay all you need is the chicken and biscuits basically and i'm going to do a video um this weekend on chicken and dumplings so then y'all can see how i make mines and i'm gonna tell y'all this okay 100 percent, my chicken and dumplings is the bomb the bomb the bomb okay the bomb.com like no lie okay for real for real now um fried chicken i usually do fried chicken and maybe some um mashed potatoes mashed potatoes is pretty cheap now too now you can get the bag of potatoes and you can you know what I'm saying i call them iced potatoes you can get your iced potatoes and you can go ahead and um, peel those and chop them up and all that good stuff and then make some some bomb mashed potatoes now my mashed potatoes is off the chain too now y'all just about everything that i cook is just off the chain like for real that's why i really want somebody to actually come and taste it so they could give me like the for real for real results of like yeah your girl is your food is a one girl like for real like for real, hands down <laughs> Now, like I was saying before, my camera rudely interrupted on me and died, okay? But, um, anyway, y'all, charge your batteries and your camera up before you start your video because the camera don't want to give you no kind of life, okay? At all. But, um, anyway, like I was saying, now, when I cook my fried chicken, I usually do mashed potatoes and corn. Now, corn, well, you can get, like, at Walmart for, like, 50 cents a pop, right? For a can, okay? The iced potatoes, you can get for, like, what, $1.49, depending on how much you cook it for your family or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And chicken, $3. So, you rough all that around together. Basically, you're paying about, what, $10 out the door, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you might actually even... Now, that little pack of chicken that comes in, like, four... I will never ever get that again because the big pack you can get that for like three dollars three four dollars and you get way more chicken right so that's what i cook so i cook chicken and dumplings fried chicken with mashed potatoes and um corn or some beans or whatever you can do pork and beans um me personally i do baked beans i love baked beans okay and um what else? Uh, number three, you can make shrimp tacos, okay? Or just regular tacos. Now you can get the little cheap ground beef, you know what I'm saying? Like what, eight to $12 or whatever. Get that ground beef, um, get you some taco shells. You can get the ones that's already made. Me personally, I don't eat those because they so stale and they break easily and i like to make my own taco shells basically so you can cook that and then get your little garments and all that stuff that you're going to put on there your little toppings and stuff you know what i'm saying lettuce tomato cheese and all that stuff now i don't use tomatoes because i don't like tomatoes so i just use cheese and lettuce on my tacos and some picante sauce and some sour cream and some guacamole yeah okay you get the drift okay and what else you can make you can make um, what do i be making spaghetti spaghetti is the number one cheap meal okay because first of all all you need is the noodles um you get some people do ground beef or some people don't even do ground beef some people just do meatballs you know what i'm saying and um get you some garlic bread or whatnot, you know what I'm saying, and cook with that. Or you could just make your own garlic bread. I have done that plenty of times, okay, when I did not want to spend the extra dollars on the garlic bread, okay? I made my own garlic bread at home. Now, you can do just about anything that you want in your kitchen, okay? All you got to do is just take some tips and learn and just basically just get in there and get with it. Now, if you got children, like I said, these meals is kid-friendly, 110%, because... 
what kid don't like SpaghettiOs or not SpaghettiOs? I'm talking about the Chef Borodi. I don't even eat that, but anyway, let's go ahead and get off of it, okay? But spaghetti, what kids don't like spaghetti? All kids like spaghetti, right? Well, most, maybe. But chicken and dumplings is so good. Kids love that, okay? And then you can just make you, now, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick. I know y'all saying, girl, you always got a story. Yeah, I do, okay? Because, oh, I got plenty. Now, okay, so back in the day, y'all, I was in high school, right? And um, my sister, she used to work like a 14-hour shift, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of her kids by herself, you know what I'm saying? I give her the utmost because she did that, you know what I'm saying? She did her thing. She raised her kids on her own. She brought them up well and they some good children. You know what I'm saying? My nieces and nephews are good children. Okay? Hands down. But now y'all, one day, the kids was talking about they was hungry, right? Let me let me go ahead and sit this camera down for this, okay? Because my arm is hurting and I don't feel like holding it. Hold on one second. Okay, now I have to rest my arms a little bit, okay? So let me tell y'all this story, okay? So one day, like, the kids was talking about they was hungry, right? And y'all it wasn't nothing up in that kitchen because my my y'all is okay my sister she worked a 14 hour drive okay anyway so the kids was hungry right so they was like hey i'm hungry and whatnot so me personally like i said i'm in high school so i don't i don't know what i'm looking through the kitchen i don't see nothing you know what i'm saying i look in the freezer y'all we had like this big thing of roast beef in there and basically like some little whatnot stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing major to the point of cooking. So what I did was I looked in the cabinets, seen what's in there, and it was some macaroni and cheese in there. It was some corn, green beans and all that stuff. And you know kids around that time, they don't like green beans and all that stuff. They just like, ugh, it's nasty, but it's good for your body, okay? I tried to tell them that, but they didn't want to listen. But now they eat it, okay? Now that they grow. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I took out the roast beef, right? Y'all, I threw it out that, that day, like earlier that day, right? I went ahead and let it thaw out. And then, um, I don't know, your girl had to think. She had to think real quick, you know what I'm saying? She had to get a thinking skill. So it was some noodles in the cabinet, right? It was like some chicken noodles and some beef noodles and all that good stuff, right? So, let me cut this down real quick, y'all. Okay, so it was some noodles in the cabinet too, right? So, yeah, I had the brightest idea as a teenager, okay? My, my nieces and nephews needed to eat, and I was going to feed them, okay, while my sister was working, okay? I was going to do the damn thing and make sure that they eat, okay, because they was hungry. And they would act like they were starving. They know that they wasn't starving, but you know how kids is, you know what I'm saying? They want to act like the world is crashing down on them, but yeah. So anyway, what I did was I put the roast beef in the oven, right? Let it cook. I seasoned it up and all that good stuff, put all the good seasonings up in there so it can have all the good flavor. And then I had got the noodles, right? I crunched those up, smashed them up and stuff, put the noodles on after the roast beef was basically done because it had to cook for like about two hours or so because the roast beef was really, really big and thick. So I let that cook for like about two hours, right? And then after that, I had got, um, what did I get? Oh, okay. So I had the noodles, right? Then I had the roast beef. So what I did was I chopped up the roast beef into pieces, right? And then I put that inside the noodles. And then I had like the the um, seasoning from the noodles, the packages. And then I went ahead and opened up like, it was like about maybe like four of those. Maybe four or five. So I opened up all of those, poured the seasoning up in there, mixed the noodles up in there, right? And then I had some, um, what else did I have? Oh, I put some corn up in there. I had got the corn, made sure the juice was off, put the corn up in the, the pot with 
everything, right? And then it was some mixed vegetables in the cabinet. So I got the mixed vegetables out the cabinet, poured the juice off of that, poured it up in the pot, right? Mixed everything together with all the, the seasonings and all that stuff. And then I added some more seasoning too. So I added some, um, I believe it was seasoned salt because seasoned salt always been a big deal. And we had used a little bit of black pepper. So I put that and added that up in there, right? Mixed it all together. And then, y'all, to top it off, I didn't use too much, though. I went ahead and grabbed the, um, the Louisiana hot sauce. Put a couple dabs up in there. Mixed it all together. Oh, my God, y'all. I swear to God, y'all. I had a vetted chow mein that night. Like, for real, as a teenager. Like, oh, my God. Even though chow mein was already out and all that stuff, but your girl had... I had put it on the up level, okay? Like, for real, I swear to God, it was the bomb.com. And my bright little brain had just thought of it because I needed to feed it my, I need to feed my babies, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, y'all, let me know how it tastes. And y'all, when they start eating it, they went crazy, okay? They kept saying, can I get some more? I want seconds and such and such. And I was like, is that good? It was like, yeah. They was like, and you did this? I was like, okay, okay. Okay, I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I actually fetched y'all stomach tonight. And now y'all got some leftovers for tomorrow because it was a big old pot. And my sister came home, she ate some, and she was like, oh, this is good. What is this? I was like, girl, I don't know. I just threw something together, and this is what came out. You know what I'm saying? But them throw me together meals, y'all, I know everybody knows about that, okay? Them throw me together meals is always a one. So you should actually just go ahead and get you some throw me together meals and then um, just whip you up something up in the kitchen. Y'all, I have to show y'all how bomb these spaghettis look real quick. Look at that. Look at that. Put the cheese all up in there. Now I make my own special sauce, y'all. Well, me and my husband do. We make our own special sauce, so... They are done. Just waiting on the corn real quick. That's only going to take about a minute or two. You know what I'm well, not a minute or two. Maybe like five minutes or something. But, oh my God, y'all. I am so hungry and I'm tired. And it's one more ingredient that I'm missing in my spaghettis. And I am done. Now, y'all, I have stopped in the middle of telling y'all about the things that y'all can actually cook for cheap. Now, I left off at that, that throw me together meal that I actually did. But um, there are some other meals that you can actually cook for cheap. Like, you can go to Walmart and get like the sh I said the shrimp already, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. So I said that. You can make some um, tostadas. Tostadas is cheap, y'all. Okay. I told y'all I love my Mexican food. Okay. Tostadas is really cheap. All you need is the ground beef and the beans and just the toppings. And the tortillas, or, I mean not the tortillas, but the shells for the tostadas. And there's a couple more other meals that is actually um, cheaper than that. My food is interrupting me right now. But yeah, y'all, if y'all want to know some more of my cheap meals or whatever that I like to cook or throw down in the kitchen on and all that good stuff, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? I like to get my feedback and, you know what I'm saying, give my input, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, um, anyway, I'm about to finish up this stuff real quick and then I'm about to eat and go to bed. Okay, so I'm almost done. The corn is still cooking and all that good stuff or whatever, but I'm going to just go ahead and sit and talk to y'all. Now, um... If y'all new to the channel, don't forget, make sure that y'all do like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and share the video as well. And if y'all is not new, make sure y'all do y'all thing, as I always tell y'all, every time, make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel, share the video, all that good stuff, and um, leave some feedback, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Um, anything. If you have some questions or whatever that you want to ask me, just go ahead and um, drop it down below. I will answer you, y'all. I am out of breath.
Bruh. No reason was so all. Just sitting here. But um, yeah. So I'm almost finished. Just kind of cooking up a spoon. Got the garlic bread up in the toaster. So we about be good. And y'all, I am gonna show y'all my mother's little um, wall right here. She has filled it up with her paintings on the wall. She have all sorts of paintings up here. Paintings everywhere. This is her little studio, y'all. So she got some beautiful abstracts right here. You see that abstract right there? That is so pretty. And then right here. And this one. She got a couple of abstracts up here, y'all. So these are pretty. These are really, really pretty. She just did this one. I like this one. This one's pretty. It's like an African painting. Then she got an abstract up there. She got another one over here. And that's real pretty. She's working on that one right there. Then she got some other paintings right here. Paint right there. She painted that a long time ago. That was like one of her first paintings, y'all. It came out pretty. So this is her studio. Oh, look at this, y'all. This is beautiful. I just barely seen this. Oh my God. She gonna have to make me one for my bedroom. Like, oh my God. That is so beautiful, y'all. And she is gonna get her a YouTube channel. So when she actually get that up and running i will make sure that i leave her channel and all that good stuff up in my videos and stuff like that so y'all can just make sure that y'all go ahead and like and comment and subscribe to her channel she's an upcoming artist and i think she does very very well and um yeah <laughs> y'all see what it is okay we got all kind of stuff going on up in the house right we got cooking videos we got we got asterisks, we got paintings, we got challenges. Yeah, we are gonna get some pranks going, coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got some, I got some up my sleeve, okay? So, but yeah, it's just, man, just make sure y'all stay tuned to the channel. Your girl got some good content coming, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of stuff in the works. So yeah, just go ahead and breeze through with your girl, right? That's the after look of the plate, y'all. So nothing really too big. Just some good spaghetti. And of course, y'all know I gotta make my corn. And then some cheese garlic bread right there, y'all. All in a nutshell. So you girl about to eat and I'm out. What's good, y'all? It's the next day, another day. Um... Today is a little bit different, so basically, y'all, I I was going to vlog some more the other day, but I didn't. Um, my mom has not been feeling good lately, so um, yesterday I had to actually get off work to call 911 for her. Because um, basically she was feeling super, super duper weak. And she wasn't looking herself. Her high, her blood pressure was extremely high. So I was working with it the night before to actually get it down because it was in the high 200s. Well, the top number was like 223 over 175, which is extremely high, y'all. And that's like stroke level. So I was able to get it down a little bit um, when the paramedics had got here. The next day I had checked it when I had got off work. Well, when I, you know, on my break basically. And then um, it was like, what was it? It was like 169 over 134. So it was still high. And then um, she was just out of it, basically. Um, she was like dehydrated too as well. So that will make you feel super, super duper weak. So I was like, no, it's, no, we need to call the ambulance. So I called the ambulance, they got here, they checked her out and all that good stuff, checked her blood pressure, and her blood pressure was 
165 over 116 when they checked it. So they basically took her to the hospital because she was complaining of chest pains. And you don't want to play with chest pains, y'all, okay? So she's at the hospital right now. I talked to her earlier. She was still weak. Um, they basically got her on no foods right now, so she can't eat nothing basically right now. The only thing she can do is drink, so she's been drinking water. And, um, man, hopefully she can start feeling better, um, by tomorrow or so. Um, she has been feeling really, really bad for like the last past, kind of like few days or a week or so. She had, at first it was a stomach issue, um, and then it turned to nausea, and then she wasn't hardly eating, so, yeah, she just been going through it. So, y'all, so I just want to update y'all on that, basically, because I did not finish off the video last night and stuff, and, um, I just want to know to get one child to know what was the deal and everything like that. So, today I'm just going to basically just be just talking, you know.